victory feels like. I grew up here in Brineville, and they were just raided by the Water Whites. Tessio escaped with them. I never should have left the village. If I'd been here, I would have been able to stop them. Right. I'm going to gather healing herbs to help people with, and then I'll go rescue those who were taken. But I can't do it alone. Can you help me? Hmm. Why are you asking for the Magister's help again? Chippy hasn't forgotten that you tricked us before. I swear on what's left of my conscience. I'll repay you, no matter what it takes, as long as you save them. I'm begging you. There's no need to be on your knees. Our Magister would never abandon someone in need. First, we need to pick samp grass from the hillside. It's a low, fluffy-looking grass. Please bring lots. There are many people hurt. Medicine? I'm going to survive thanks to you all. And thank you for driving away the Water Whites. Helping others is an Acorn Knight's duty. Sir Chippy humbly accepts your gratitude. <laughs> A knight? Sinbad sure has made some interesting friends. <laughs> um, we're not Sinbad's friends. We just couldn't abandon people in need. Not friends? Then what did that kid offer you in exchange? True, but seriously, what else can he offer in return? We're so destitute we can't even afford bread, and we're constantly disturbed by the whites. Yeah! If you go back to Rustport, you will all be under the protection of the Carmine Whispers. The Water Whites can't bug you there. They would never welcome us back, after we left on our own. What do you mean? Our husbands were sailors, and Sinbad's father was their captain. They set sail to find a legendary treasure for Tessio, and never returned. It's quite tragic, but in Rustport, stories of people dying at sea is common. At that time, Rustport was harassed by pirates. They blockaded the port and specifically demanded a fight with Julius's crew. 
Julius is Sinbad's father. It wasn't the Dead Tide fleet, you misunderstand. In these waters, there are always legendary tales of human conflicts. Did you know, Restport used to be infested with pirates until the Carmine Whispers drove them away. When the Dead Tide fleet appeared, we finally saw what Graveborn looked like. We joked that the pirates driven away by the Whispers were so unwilling to give up on Restport that they came back as Graveborn. Oh dear, I'm getting off track. Where were we? Ah, that's right. Julius accepted the challenge, but was secretly ordered by Tessio to find a treasure that could solve Restport's crisis. Julius trusted Tessio completely. Tessio assured him that another fleet would handle the pirates, so Julius and his crew set sail overnight. Later, the Carmine Whispers drove off the pirates and became heroes of Restport. Julius and his crew were branded as cowards for fleeing before the battle and abandoning their families, as widows of these so-called cowards. Everyone in Restport scorned us. We couldn't bear it any longer. So we moved away. Yes, sort of. All the women here came together to raise him. But though we found a place to settle down, we're still not at peace because of the frequent trouble from the Water Whites. That's so sad. I've got tears in my eyes. Uh, don't underestimate the women of Brineville. We're not afraid of those Whites. Each of us can take on three of them at a time. If they hadn't ambushed us tonight, we would have... <clears throat> Ouch. Rest now. No more talking if you want to recover fast. All right, all right. Next time you guys visit, I promise we'll have a warmer welcome for you. Wow. Is this medicine for me? I feel so much better. Thank you, kind souls. Brineville will not forget this. Just remember, the person who helped you is called the Great Magister Merlin. You came here with Sinbad, right? Has he caused you any trouble? I swear, if that kid is up to his old tricks... He snitched on us to the Carmine Whispers, and they came after us! What? That rascal! I warned him to steer clear of the whispers, but he never listens. That little punk! I'm going to give him a piece of my mind later. I'm curious. Why did you want him to stay away from the Carmine whispers? Don't people at Rothbard all respect them? We'd rather be disturbed to death by the whites than be under the thumb of those blasted whispers. If it weren't for that scoundrel Tessio, we would never have been forced to leave Rustport for this forsaken place where we can't even grow wheat. Another person with a grudge against Tessio. What did he do to you? He caused the deaths of our husbands. I will never forgive that... that... Please calm down, madam. Your wound is still bleeding. Don't get too worked up. You're right. It's not worth getting upset over that old fool. Is this Samgrass? Oh, thank you so much. I I apologize. You must be Sinbad's friends, right? And you had to experience this during your very first time in this village? This is nothing. We've been through worse. Judging by your clothes, you don't seem to be from around here. Are you the gullible... Uh, the new friend Sinbad picked up on the beach? Sinbad talked about us behind our backs. But that really makes me not want to help him. Oh, no. No matter what Sinbad has done, I sincerely apologize on his behalf. You see, our village is frequently raided by the Water Whites, and Sinbad has had to do many things just to support his family. And that includes helping the Water Whites? Yes. Even though the people of Brineville are not as weak as he thinks, 
He still tries to protect all of us by himself. And sometimes that means he does some really questionable things. Even though Sinbad helped the water rights, they still robbed you? That was despicable. Well, that's how they are. Untrustworthy. Always coming and going as they please. We're used to it. I never knew Sinbad had that side to him. That boy. Oh, it breaks my heart how responsible he is. He's got so much he wants to do in life, yet he stays here because he worries about us. Oh, sorry for rambling. I shouldn't take up any more of your time. You have other patients to get to. Chippy's gathered the sampgrass and handed it out. Is there anything else Chippy can do to help? Yes. A lot of villagers have been taken. I can't bring them back by myself. Would you be willing to go help me save them? I knew the Great Magister Merlin wouldn't stand by and do nothing. Let's go! be able to go home I can't believe they locked them in cages how despicable Sinbad, if you'd been any slower, we would have been minced meat by now. I'm glad you're okay. Head back to the village. Sinbad, I knew you'd come. Thank goodness you came so quickly. I was terrified. <laughs> Some of the others were taken down to the cliffs. Please, hurry. Ugh, what are those whites planning? I overheard them talking about... experiments. Experiments? There's no time! Let's go find the others!
few of the others were taken to the camp up ahead. Please, save them. Thank goodness, I'm free. I think there are still some more people missing. The Whites took some of the others elsewhere, but I have no idea where. <laughs> hey, don't cry. You know how to get back, right? <laughs> I, I do. You go back first. I promise we'll find them and bring them home. Okay. Sure. This place is huge. You could fit a million chippies in here. Where should we start looking? I know the Whites have another camp nearby. Follow me. No wonder my darling was on high alert. It was your meddling all along. Darling? You call that snake your darling? Insolent rodents! You comprehend nothing of a snake's grace and slender form. Did you say these people are your experimental subjects? How cruel! <laughs> Soon you shall join my esteemed subjects. Wouldn't you agree, my darling? Magister, this guy is scaring Chippy! Tremble with fear! How fortunate you are to become sustenance for my darling. Rayborn was? That's Viperion, a sorcerer from the Dead Tide fleet. Rumor has it he dabbles in strange experiments, especially ones involving sacrifices. Experiments? Involving humans? That's far too terrifying. I don't even want to imagine what could have happened to the villagers if Magister Merlin wasn't here today. 
You're a really good person. The Magister is a wonderful person. But you should remember that Chippy still hasn't forgiven you. Hey, don't worry. I told you guys I'd pay you back. Chippy will think of what we awesome heroes deserve. First, you need to apologize, grovel on your knees, and pay back double the money you took from us. I can definitely apologize, but to be honest, about the money, I'm flat broke. Huh? How can you have no money when you've conned so many people? No matter how much I get, it all goes towards dealing with the constant raids by the Whites. You've seen the state of the village. Hold on! Have you been using your money to help the village? So, you keep finding ways to make money because your village keeps getting raided? Even if it's through questionable means? Hey, keep your voice down! <sighs> hey, even though I'm broke, you can have this. small pendant. What does it do? Don't underestimate this item. In Rustport, a rusty anchor is a symbol of courage earned by facing the dangers of the sea. With this, you'll be respected in Rustport and welcomed wherever you go. I dream of earning it myself one day. Wait, this isn't yours? I'm not worthy of it yet. Don't tell me. Did you swindle someone for this, too? Hey, it's like you don't trust me at all. Actually, this belonged to my old man. He was quite the captain. You've probably heard the villagers talk about him, right? You're the first person to believe that. Lots of people think the opposite of him. Just for that, I know I didn't make a mistake in choosing you. Please, take good care of the Pendant. It's the most precious thing to me. All right, with that over, I'm at your beck and call now. I'll continue paying you back however I can. I heard from the villagers that you rescued them from the Whites. Well done. It was all thanks to the help of Magister Merlin. We couldn't have done it without her. Luca and I took care of the rest of Tezio's men. Luca's currently guarding Rustford. Don't worry. I also left some people to watch over Brineville. The Whites won't dare give them trouble again. Good. You guys should have stepped up for Brineville much earlier. Now that I think about it, it made sense that you guys never helped Brineville. Considering that Tessio was the one who screwed those villagers over in the first place. The Carmine Whispers are under me now. Once we catch Tessio, he'll testify for all his wrongdoings in front of the Laurel Council, including what he did to the people of Brineville. All right, all right. I gotta admit, you are indeed a better leader than Tessio. Now isn't the time to fight each other! The enemy's still out there. We should present a united front with our swords! <laughs> Magister, Chippy sounded real cool just now, right? Miss Sonia, we saw Tessio taking refuge with the Water Wipes. What should we do? Tessio is most likely hiding in their headquarters. Let's go straight there and settle the score. Never thought I'd see the day the Carmine Whispers would stop being cowards. I've had enough of your parroting. Are you acting this way because you're in front of the Magister? Or are you that desperate to find Nara? I want the Whites to pay for what they've done. Of course, it would also be great if I could figure out what happened to my sister. Now, do you want to keep questioning me, or should we move on? I guess your reasoning makes sense. Let's take down the Whites first, cripple the dead tight fleet, and then find their lair and tear it apart. Magister, would you like to join us on this mighty journey? The Whites' headquarters are at Lookout Point. It isn't far from here. We'll need a boat to get there. I know a ferry. Follow me.
Every sword is a witness. any creepy sea monsters on the way. Yeah, but there are so many guards here. How do we get in? They're just lackeys. They're no match for us. Come on. We don't always have to use brute force. We can knock a few of them out, steal their clothes, and just sneak in. Easy peasy, right? I suppose you're right. We should conserve our energy. Let's go for those guards at the entrance. It's their lucky day. Hold up. What's up? Password? Password? Uh, let me think. I got into a brawl with some dirty sea dogs last night, so my head's still kind of fuzzy. Psst. Why would we even need a password? Do you think he's suspicious of us? Sinbad, do you actually know the password? Don't rush me. Give me some space to hit my creative groove. What? I can just knock him out. Ha! I got it! Let me slip you a little something. You haven't eaten yet today, right? Here's some freshly caught fish. Oh, this looks really tempting. But I really can't let you pass without a password. <laughs> all right, all right. How long has your shift been? You probably wouldn't fill up on just one fish. Lucky for you. I got another one in my bag. Oh, jeez. You know my weak spot. All right, buddy. Go on through and leave me to enjoy this fish in peace. And don't get involved in too many brawls in the future, all right? All right. Thanks, pal.
Stop right there! I haven't seen your faces before. Which group are you from? Ah, if it isn't Liko. How's your luck, Ben? You are? Sinbad, don't you remember? We caught those water rats together and we had a fantastic night at the tavern afterwards. Great food, beautiful women. Oh, sounds familiar. I must have had one too many tankards. Well, I got a pretty good memory, and I just remembered that you love Seabream. I caught two just for you, fresh as they come. All right, you're in the know. But things have been tight lately. I gotta follow protocol. Which path are you on? Heaven, Earth, Water, Lights. Name a path, and I've walked it. And for the rest of you, what kind of fish do you like? Well, I, uh... You've already answered. My question was for your buddies. So, out with it. What's your type of catch? <laughs> That's the spirit. Big or small. No fish or whisper can slip the white's grasp. Go on ahead, matey. Sinbad, what did you mean by water rats? How are you so good at conversation with that guy? Catching water rats is code for nabbing spies from the Whispers. They've been trying to infiltrate the Water Whites, too. How many Whispers members have you sold out? Don't give me that look. I've never sold anyone out. I've even let a few go when I ran into them. Do you really think that low of me? That I'd work with the Water Whites just for money? You know what working with them has got me? I know all their camp locations, the origins of their members, their daily routines, and even the types of fish they take as bribes. I've been waiting for the day to dismantle them completely. Hmm. It's rare for me to be impressed. Do you know where they could have hidden Tessio? Knowing Tessio, he wouldn't rough it with the Water Whites and Thames. He's most likely on the Chainkeeper. The Chainkeeper is the White's flagship. Rivaling even the beautiful immortal that the dead tide fleet owns. I heard that's where the White's boss stays. On top of that, we might even find Nara on that ship. Excellent. Things are going quite smoothly with you here, Simbad. Lead the way. can't even scream properly. All right, then. Do you want to live? Here, take this vial of potion. One of you drinks, and the other goes free. What will happen if we drink it? <laughs> See for yourselves. How is this better than being dead? It's your choice. Pick who dies. Or you both perish together. You... You sea devil! <laughs> Wouldn't you do anything for your wife? I'm giving you that precious chance. Why not thank me? Thank me! <laughs> Please, just let us go. But if you can't choose... Well, I guess I should pick for you. Eeny, meeny. Rhea, I... I'm willing to die for you. Let me drink it. Tyrus, 
If only one of us can survive, it should be you. I'll drink it. If you die, there would be nothing worth living for. Then let's drink it together. Give us the potion. My love, not even death can separate us. <coughs> Rhea! I... I'm sorry. You... you didn't drink it just now? You lied to me? I'm sorry, but I want to live. You said you'd die for me, you dirty liar! Go drown yourself! <laughs> this kind of drama, no matter how many times I see it, never gets old. Is seawater really that delicious? Salty enough to keep tears from falling? Wait... This is just seawater? We've... been... tricked? <laughs> How could you be so naive to believe those sweet lies about dying for each other? Oh, it's just you. Do you enjoy slinking around in the shadows all the time? Ugh, you're so dark and gloomy. It ruins my mood. Nara, are you wasting these two specimens? Hey, I caught these two with my own hands. I have the right to deal with them. The captain gave me that authority. The Day of Reckoning is coming soon. The captain invested such precious power in you. I hope you do not disappoint him. Go back to the shadows and loom over someone else. I'm tired of your yapping. Hmm. I bet you're really scared of letting him down, aren't you? Such insolence. If it weren't for the captain's orders, I'd have taken your head off ten times over. Imagine it, dangling from a hook. <laughs> Such a delightful decoration. I've made my stance clear. Proceed as you wish. Bye-bye! Ugh, can't stand her. Now that's ruined my mood! I should go back to doing something fun. Back to my two little playthings. Let me think. Oh, I know! Guard! Come put a noose around the man and give the rope to the woman! <laughs> Seeing as you, good sir, just lied to this pretty lady, she's probably dying to kill you. I'll give her the rope that decides your fate. Let's see if she saves you. It'll be so interesting. No, wait. I'll die for sure. Please. <laughs> Hearing you beg is so exhilarating. Why are you begging me? Shouldn't you be begging that little lady for your life? Anyways, these two are no fun anymore. Let's find some other entertainment. to rescue you. Please don't be scared. You're safe now. No one will harm you again. Really? Let's lower your husband down first. No! This starfish-eating dung deserves what's coming to him. You guys must have a bigger goal here, right? Why don't you check for any other hostages, and I can just stay here and watch over him. Do you know where Nara went? Are you planning to confront her? She'd probably return to the ship. I've left a mark for my subordinates. They'll arrive soon, don't worry. Great! I'm not sure, but she seemed important. The other water whites salute her whenever she passes. I didn't recognize her voice earlier. 
But I know of her. Bonnie, the first maid of the Dead Tide fleet. Are you here to get rid of the monsters? Yes! Sir Chippy will chase all the bad guys away for you, milady. Thank you. Tessio? Oh, you're here to rescue a companion, right? I don't know anyone called Tessio, but I do remember an old man with the same rose mark on his chest like the one you have. They took him onto the ship. I was right. Tessio's on the chain keeper. Should we go after Nara first or search for Tessio? Nara was also heading towards the chain keeper. I believe we'll be able to find both of them there. Ma'am, thank you for the information. You're now under the Carmine Whisper's protection. But before we go, I have something to say. Yes? Don't let hatred consume you. I understand. Thank you. Every sword is a witness. Why does Sonya look so hesitant? She's torn, because after all, her sister is the enemy. Does she really want to be the one to bring her down? Actually, I've already led her to her death once. What happened? Nara and I grew up in Rustport. We were orphans and barely scraping by, so we turned to theft for survival. Nara hated it. She dreamed of leaving, so we saved up and bought two tickets out. But during our voyage, disaster struck. A tsunami capsized our ship. I was holding onto her hand, but a monstrous wave swept her away. I know, but if I had just held on tighter... Or never brought her aboard that ship, or searched more diligently for her than maybe... You can't go down that path. What's done is done. You've got to learn how to move on. At the very least, find a way to talk it out with Nara. And don't let her blame the wrong person. I don't even know how to explain it to her. She thinks I abandoned her and betrayed her. Didn't you see what she did with that couple? She put them through hell just to test whether they would betray each other. Perhaps that's her way of expressing her subconscious trauma. It's not your fault. You were just a kid back then, right? Let's find Nara and clear the air. Do you really think so? With all that deep-seated resentment and her unpredictable nature, will she even listen? Enough chatter. We're in the White's camp, we shouldn't linger in one place for too long. But trust me, no matter what happens, I'll make sure Nara won't harm you. With Sonya here, Chippy feels safe as houses. Magister, let's go find Nara.
We're wasting time here. Sonia, based on what you know of Nara, where would she go? I'm not sure. My memories of Nara are mostly from our childhood. All right. Any ideas, Magister? Yes! There might be clues there! So Chippy will bravely lead you all! Let's go! What a pity that the Whites left you with no protection. Sonia, you've got what you wanted, but do you really have to go this far? After all, I am your father. Your father! How much of our brethren's blood has stained your hands while you colluded with the Water Whites? I am their boss. Dying for me is what they should do. You're not worthy. If I'm going down, then I'll take you down with me! I'm getting old after all. I'm not as sharp as before. If I were younger, stronger, more agile, you wouldn't stand a chance. Your time has passed. I refuse to accept that. You could have lived out your days in peace. <laughs> Retirement. Sitting on my thumbs, soaking up the sun. <laughs> I'd rather die. Sonia, from the day I took you in, I knew you'd rise to the top. You'd be my right hand. But now, you can't do this to me. I built the whispers up through my blood, sweat, and tears. This gang would be nothing without me! If only you were truly my child, then I'm sure you would be much more loyal. You already control way too many people. I'm glad I'm not one of them. Do not forget that I am the one who made you what you are. Deny it all you want, but you will never escape me! <laughs> Shut your mouth. Don't think you'll get a quick, easy death by taunting us. Our score isn't settled yet. I'll gladly wait until the day you're judged in court and you can finally face your sins. You guys go on ahead. I'll join you after I tie him up nice and properly, so that he can't escape before he goes to trial. Simbad, Restrain yourself. Don't worry. I'll catch up to you guys soon.
I've been waiting. Waiting? Waiting! You knew about us all along? Did you think I only had eyes for that dumb Bonnie? Oh, you sweet, naive thing! <laughs> Zip it! When my sister and I are talking, you keep your trap shut. Weren't you looking for Tessio, Sonia? I brought him right to you. How was it? Did you have fun? Judging by your face, you're not having as much fun as I am. What's the matter? I couldn't be happier. Nara. Enough with that pitying look. Don't treat me like I'm dead. My body may be wrecked, but my ears are sharp. Right now, I hear your heart pounding like crazy, and the blood rushing through your veins. Oh, sister dear, don't tell me you're nervous, or maybe even a little... scared? What's got you trembling? Me? My hook? Or are you scared you'll end up like me? Enough. <laughs> I see now, you're afraid of my hatred. Too funny. <laughs> and you do anything but laugh now. Since you're not in the mood to chat, then say hello to my hook. It's been dying to meet you. Your head, your heart, your limbs, it wants them all! Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna kill me, sister? Nara. Come on, kill me. Like you did 11 years ago. Do it again. Do it, dear sister. I'm sorry, Nara. Sorry? It's too late now. If you don't strike, I'll kill you instead sooner or later. I'll keep your head right by my bed. Your eyes will watch me, always watching. Watching as I tear bodies apart and snap their necks. See these scars, Sonia? They're just like sewing a rag doll together with fish bones and fishing lines. I came back from the depths of the sea just to see you again. Nara, I... <laughs> that look in your eyes! Yes! That's it! Keep looking at me just like that! You were the one who taught me how to sew dolls! Did I learn well? What are you waiting for? Do it! Kill me! Kill me! Even if you kill me, I'll find you again! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'll take her back and lock her up. We understand, Miss Sonia. This must have been a very difficult decision for you. But make sure to keep an eye on her. We can't afford to have her showing up in Rustport again. That would be hard to explain. I know. Let's deal with the other whites. With Nara out of the picture, maybe they'll wise up and surrender. These ruffians want to surrender. What should we do now? Let's seize the chain keeper. Hi, fellows. Did I hear you're seizing the ship? <laughs> Guess I caught up at the right time. Sinbad, you're here. What about Tessio? I tied him up and dumped him in the hold, under the watchful eye of some other whispers. Don't worry. We gave him some special treatment. He's not going anywhere. Boss. Thanks to the marks you left us, we've taken full control of the Chain Keeper. We've gotten most of the ruffians settled. Anyone else who doesn't cooperate can become fish food. 
send a messenger back to Luca to prepare a victory feast. The rest of you, tally up our spoils. If everything's in order, it's time to head back. Let's set sail! Whee! Oh, need me at the helm? I know the way. That would be appreciated. Blasted fish scales. The ship we worked so hard to get. There's a big scratch on the right side. Simbad, how's it looking on your end? There are a few big holes on the lower side of the keel in the hull. But luckily, the mast is still intact. If we don't want this ship to be out of commission, we need to repair it as soon as possible. I see some beech trees over there. Those would work well. I'll stay here and guard these Water Whites and Nara. I'll go with you. I'm pretty good with my hands. <laughs> 